gonna name this character Wugosh, and that's the national puppet for Fox. No. She's gonna be the cunning sly raider. Well, outlaw. And I'm just going to wait for a bit. Now, our I'm going to incorporate as much Nashuabe as I know into this. I mean, the language revitalization, revitalization. It's a big thing, and I'm trying to bring back a language that, you know, could have died out, and it almost did. Brace yourself, Cass. This could be real bad. No, you can interface with me to signal when you're ready to proceed. Let's try it. Now, that is jumping. That's crush one. One way. We need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first, we'll need to gear up. Von Bach Industries had personal defense technologies aboard the Strato Carrier. I placed a marker on our map where we'll find some. I don't know much in Lashable Dame, just starting out. You know, that's something at least I'm trying to learn. And. Excellent! Once you equip that, it will allow me to activate the shield. We're gonna call it just a book. Which would be. Many tombs. So these are many tombs. Shields are running. We're going to need another weapon option. I'm picking up a signal from a crashed mobile armory. Let's hurry. We need to collect the necessary equipment as soon as possible so we can start looking for Mr. Von Bach. This is going to be running, which just went over this. Or actually, we don't run over this. But running, or just to run. Is oh, there are so many of them. To run fast is the Shabidi. Or, I mean, the Shabidi. To remember, it goes. So we're going to get a bit, get The run to where we need to go is a little bit that thing. Mm -hmm. 
one's probably gonna pop up here. Yep. Shotguns are perfect for close quarters combat. One blast up close and personal will do serious damage to most enemies. Get a gun. Flash kiss again. So we're gonna equip particular this weapon flash types work better for specific situations, so you'll want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. And we also switch between the flash I'm detecting some explosives nearby. We could definitely use those. I've put the location on the map. Explosives are Passage of the Gizron. Very long. I think that it's just a more explosive gun range kind of thing. Yep. Passage Gizron. I'm going the wrong way. And here's the modules. The bugs. And this is another person. They're gonna hear well, look who it is. They have lots of monodules. This supply pod is filled with grenades. Grab one and equip it. So I'm gonna play that. Hopefully. And we have to equip it. And certain things I will be putting into words. I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. I think we're going to use this notebook. And we're going to keep everything straight.
Make explosives. Back up with the gun. mission was complete. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. We will use projections as our training targets. The instructions must be followed precisely in order to initiate the powers. First, we'll try cloak. While using cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projection and attack. friend. Cloak must be activated to sneak behind the projections and attack. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. Demolition time. I'll enable the decoy power now. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will fool and distract the enemy. Take down the projections while they're distracted by your decoy. Decoy. a 50-50 shot. The blur power is now enabled. Blur will allow us to move at extreme speeds and increases melee strength during close combat. With Blur active, Make rush the projections and strike them with melee attacks. You must activate the Blur power and strike these projections with melee attacks. Good work! You'll need to choose an ego power for me to integrate. Um... It's kind of hard to find certain words to fit from this place. And some of the descriptions... So it's kind of foggy. Well, it's more smoky, but we're going to just say it's foggy. So it's. That's a wand. That's foggy. It's, it's foggy. Give me one, it's rainy. There's a wolf named Keek. Is. It's. There's lightning. I have to pick one of these. Hmm. I normally went with this one. The aggressive choice. I like it. It's one that I know. I'm receiving a signal. I'll patch it through. Can anyone hear me? I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. Oh no, we better help her. So we're gonna go help her.
boosting firepower. No, we're gonna need it, so. According to my readings, those creatures are actually humans. However, their DNA is severely mutated. They've been mutated through the apocalypse kind of thing. And we have flush kits. Which one shoot? Means other things. But we're gonna go with the shoot. The good if thing about this language forget about finding any survivors. is that you can have several different words. I have and the ability to hack into most computer systems. Get to that thorium map and I'll see what I can do. God, what was he saying? Yeah, you can have several different words. Give me some meds. Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure and we'll be able to use it to our advantage. Excellent. I was able to reactivate the fissile material. The reactor will overload and pull this entire place off the map. But we need to keep the mutants from disrupting the process. The reactor is overloading. Keep it going. words means different things and but with this language these one word can mean several different things um like some of our vocab Death words rides with me. it's kind of awesome that uh in a way Here's one thing contract can mean available and he's offering more than usual weather which side. is suspicious or you can ask how are you? And meet him at the crater. there's really no literal translations. There's so many different stems to these words and to these phrases that you could be saying something and someone could be thinking you're saying another thing. But they all relatively come back to being the same thing, just a little different. And in the words of one of my favorite teachers, you bring out the surferness and everything. We need to find out if Mr. Von Bach survived. I'm picking up signals from a couple nearby evac seats. Fingers crossed that one of them belongs this to Mr. Von Bach. And I can tell you some of our vocab words just in this area. Which is actually really cool. go over some of them right now. We have Mishkonzan, which is grass. Wabang, whoa. Wabagan, it's clay, sorry. So there are. Jigvik is the beach. Ju is the mountains. You see a lot of I am being shot at. And 
and a key is land. There's a lot of, yeah. Kitagami is Lake Superior or Big Water or Ocean. Weak Wet is the Bay. Ajbik is Rock. This evac seat is empty. I hope whoever was in there is still alive somewhere. Gitagon is Field of Garden. A lot of interference. Get to an open area so I can scan the valley. Zebius River. And I would say this weather is in here. It's mild. It's Abwa. So the more I learn, the more I'm going to incorporate in some of these things. And I will be going over my, most of my vocab words here. So hopefully you can put up with it. It, you know, it might be a really hot day where you're at, which would be something. We're really lucky to be alive. The crash is horrifying. And, uh, they actually ask how the weather is outside. Is Anish Ejibot Gojing? The whole thing is, they look way more, the words themselves look way more harder to pronounce than what they are. And, and if you've ever learned a different language, you're going to get the, them confused on how to pronounce things. So if I stumble over things, it's because I'm, I have self-taught myself um, some Spanish, some Latin, some German, and whatnot. So I have everything just... Oh, crap. No, this didn't make it out alive. I'm detecting a fading ego signal, which means this must have been a fellow Ark Hunter. I'm receiving several Vombach industry signals. One of them has to be him. Let's hurry and check them out. And... Moden, is it windy? You can see some of these plants moving and whatnot, so there must be a little wind. So it's windy. And granted, that is smoke, but in some of these areas, it's actually really foggy, and that, that again, is a wand. For the most part, it's clear, so that's Mishka's... Mishka's what? And if you're from the northern part of anywhere where you get snow, Gonka is its snow, and to say it is snowing is Zokpo. And Nimkika is th thundering. Which really... There's a whole Thunderbird story about this. And it's awesome. Our teacher went over it. And I'm afraid of saying it wrong and, you know, disrespecting people so, and ancestors and whatnot. And I really don't want to do that. So... Leave it at that. And... We'll look at these. This expedition is in serious jeopardy if we fail to find Mr. Von Bach. He's the only one with the knowledge to unlock the secrets of the Art Corps. And over here, I would imagine this would be a hot day. I don't want to make up anything. That would be bad for just, not just me, but everything. Yeah, she's up. The hot day. This is not Mr. Fondock's body. This is a tragedy. I'm estimating the death count to be at least 300. This is a deceased Bombach Industries technician. I think we'll be, we'll call it right after we finish everyone. this objective. It's short and sweet. This is the head of the security team. 
If he didn't make it, then what hope does Mr. Von Bach have? There's always hope. Always hope. I've seen some horrible fires and horrible My DNA accidents. Scan says this is not Mr. And I haven't been around that long. But long. employee number 130. And some of these people good. survive and by miracles they never die. And it's, it's amazing. Whether Mr. Von Bach is alive or dead, he doesn't appear to be near the crash site. I think we're going to need some assistance in finding him. I'm receiving an SOS from Captain Grant now. I'll pass it through. All unarmed and injured survivors, get to cover and stay put. We will find you. All combat capable survivors, report to the emergency HQ at the new Freedom Rally Point. ASAP. Hey, Ark Hunter. Did you get that e rep message? Meet me at the rally point. And I think we're gonna call it. So... I'll see you later, or as it goes, bye-bye.